Hola, Tony Ledwig Larsen here. In a previous video here on my YouTube channel where I faked riding a skateboard, I asked you guys to comment what I should try to fake in a future video using movie magic and editing tricks. Three of you guys wrote the following. Fake riding a bike, fake doing latte art or latte art, and fake solving a Rubik's cube. Super great suggestions, but you're not gonna get one video each. I'm gonna take all three ideas and just mash them together in a very abstract way. But before I continue, this is not a super technical step-by-step -step process. It's more me explaining my idea, creative process, and giving some insights to the technical stuff I do. So at the heart of this project is good old scrapbooking. So I found three magazines I had lying around and I cut out things related to the three topics. Bicycles, coffee, and Rubik's Cube. And Rubik's Cube was especially hard, so I had to get creative and look for shapes that could represent a cube. So after cutting out all the shapes, I took pictures of them, my way of scanning, imported them to Lightroom, sent over to Photoshop, cut out the shapes using Pen Tool. You can use both Photoshop files and PNGs in After Effects. I think it's easier to just use PNGs. In addition, I wanted to add myself, Intern Polly, as well as some latte art from the creator who came with the wish of faking latte art. So I cut those out from digital files in Photoshop, exported and categorized them with the other material as well. Despite being a very abstract project, I imported all of the materials to Premiere Pro, created a storyboard and also found a song that I trimmed down to fit the project. Hi, Future Tony from the editing room. While I was editing the video, audio came out with a new licensing deal. It basically means a new plan where you could use the music wherever you want, even in broadcasting. So if you want to go for the super duper deal, there's an affiliate link down in the description. And at the same time, you will be supporting my channel. So in advance, thank you. When I had all of that planned out, I jumped over to After Effects. Imported and categorized, very important to categorize all the assets, meaning the picture files. Then created a composition and got to work. I mainly just played around with position, scale, rotation and opacity. And then keyframed everything to make it move around and to the rhythm of the music. After experimenting a ton, I finally got something usable. Exported a video file of this project and then imported that to Premiere Pro. Played around a bit with text and grain overlays and finally, I ended up with this. Very abstract stuff, but hey, I got the job done. I actually faked the shots that you guys asked for. So thank you to these creators here and to other people watching. Comment down below, give me some new suggestions for things to try and fake in future videos. And as an extra bonus, I actually picked up a replica of a Rubik's Cube. So let's see if I can solve it by hand. And as I mentioned in the beginning, this is my creative process. It's not so much about the detailed nitty gritty stuff of After Effects. If you wanna learn After Effects, do the same as me. Go on YouTube, search for After Effects tutorials. Yes, there are super duper courses out there, but I recommend starting out by trial and error. Try to piece together a few tutorials, see what you can come up with. And if you want specific things to search for, Try searching for After Effects project settings, workspace, composition, pre-comps, assets manager, and then look into the basic techniques of animations like positions, scaling, rotation, opacity, keyframes to make everything move. It may seem overwhelming, but I really encourage you, just start slow, start with the basics. Just spend a little bit of time every day, and before you know it, we are all gonna be After Effects experts. <laughs> That's in the future, but enjoy the process. Anywho, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, there is a like button down below. Subscribe to follow along, and I will see you in the next video. 
Tchau!